the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. And things all quiet across our neck of the woods this evening. Clouds streaming across. Those will gradually transition out of here. And as that happens, those temperatures will start to drop pretty significantly. And where those clouds have dropped, they are uh, pretty they're, they've gotten a lot colder. As we head into Tuesday, things change again. A cold front moves into our area. Notice big difference between where Wichita will be and where Tulsa will be. So a pretty significant front. Looks like most of the severe weather with this one's going to stay off to our east where we could see a pretty significant severe weather event. Most of our area going to stay dry out of this. A few showers possible in far southeast Oklahoma, but all in all, uh, that's going to be about the extent of it. But heading east, that's going to be quite a different story. Downtown Jinx looking beautiful, as does a lot of our local suburbs and Tulsa locations. I mean, it's it's a gorgeous time of the year and people just keep up in the ante, it seems like on a yearly basis with these light displays. 44 right now, west southwest wind at five, dew point 38. And uh, that means once the clouds are gone, we'll see those temperatures drop down into the 30s. Once again, where the clouds have cleared out a little bit, Claremore prior, we're down to 38. Other locations around the metro still holding on to the low and mid 40s, but we'll all drop down here uh, pretty soon. You can kind of see what's left of the clouds just kind of right in here. Once again, where the clouds have cleared out, temperatures dropping pretty quickly, and that'll continue to be the case. Tomorrow morning, waking up in the upper 20s, but mostly lower 30s. Going towards Monday afternoon, south winds crank up. That pulls us back up to near 60. Strong winds stay overnight on Monday, so we won't really drop off too much, only into the 50s for Tuesday morning. Notice there's those showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder in southeast Oklahoma early Tuesday. Then that front moves through. Notice most of the shower and storm activity well off the picture here. And then on the back side of this, there's a slight chance of a couple of flurries near the Kansas state line. Not going to be a big deal, but will be much colder as we head into Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, temperatures will struggle. We'll be really having a hard time getting out of the 30s. Most of the day will likely be in the 30s, so just be ready to bundle up. I mean, it's going to be like a weather whiplash kind of deal going from a gusty, windy 71 to a breezy 43 with the north wind. And then notice it doesn't last long. We warm right back up and another front moves into the area towards next weekend. And that one will have another big cool down behind it. Rain chances is very limited once again Tuesday. A little bit better chance as we head towards next week. And it's still a lot to iron out with that system, though. So we'll have to see how it plays out as we get there. Then going into, once again, the December 5th through 11th time frame, it looks like we could see overall a wetter than normal time period during that week. And temperatures right now look like they're trending to be colder than normal. We'll see how it all plays out. Once again, we got a lot of time between now and then. But that's kind of how things are trending for us. It's really kind of an active time of year anyways with cold fronts. So kind of what we expect. 30s at midnight, some places already there, 33 tomorrow morning, some places a few degrees cooler than that, then sunny skies as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. A bit on the breezy side with those uh, gusty south winds and those temperatures uh, warming up to around 60 degrees. So all in all, pretty nice. Going forward, once again, warm and windy on Tuesday. Cold front slams through, much colder behind it. We warm back up, and then uh, the next storm system once again would arrive uh, toward next weekend and, and early the following week with yet another warm up and cool down at that point in time. That's a look at your forecast. A lot of activity in sports this weekend. Let's send it over and find out about all of that.